Today we'll be showcasing the Cheddar POS software in Quick Service Restaurant mode. We will begin with the home screen. There are a few functions available on the home screen, such as clocking in and clocking out. This is an optional time and attendance feature. Another function is adding tips. This is where the staff member can add a tip to a closed credit card transaction by entering in their ticket number and clicking find. The final function would be entering into the management screen. This is where all management functions are housed. All functions are shown, but the green buttons on the left allow the user to streamline their choices. For instance, items pertaining to tickets, time clock, or reports. One notable button is for support. By selecting this button, our 800 number appears as well as the ability to choose the green button to select an option and click send. This will directly send a support ticket to the next available Cheddar team member who will call the merchant back as soon as possible. We'll now return to the home screen and enter the system as a cashier would. To begin, touch start. We've now entered the system. All items on the left are for function, and all items on the right are customizable, including the logo. There are two ways to open a ticket, new ticket and ticket by name. In this scenario, we'll choose new ticket. Now the menu is available to begin the order. If I would like to enter a guest information, I can touch customer, enter in their phone number. If the guest information has already been entered, it will populate. Otherwise, you can key in all of the information and click process. Now we can ring in the order. You can see the items populating on the left hand side. If the guest asks the cashier to split the check by what they ordered, then the cashier can touch the split button. This is the drag and drop method. I will drag over the beverage and entree for one guest, click create ticket, and repeat the process for the second guest. You'll now see the ticket split into two checks. You can click ticket view to check your accuracy. You can open or print a selected check. In the case that the guest changed their mind, the cashier can also merge the tickets back together by touching merge, choosing the tickets they'd like to merge back together, merge again, entering in the four digit cashier code, click submit, and now the ticket is back to the way it was originally. If a discount is to be applied, they can choose discount. They can choose from the list of merchant designated discounts, or there can just be a standard discount that can be adjusted per transaction. And then click apply. The discount can be applied by a manager code or not. That would be at the merchant's discretion. To view or print the check, touch the check button. Here you can view the check's details, such as the balance, discount, and even remove the tax if the guest happens to be tax exempt. Please keep in mind that the guest facing screen will also show all the items being rung in as well as the total. Now we can accept payment. This is the payment screen. The forms of payment are on the right hand side, credit card, gift card, cash, and other. Other is where we would add any third party delivery service such as Grubhub or Uber Eats. We also have the ability to divide the payment equally by touching divide as many times as needed or touching clear if we need to reset. The green buttons are defaulted to cash. If we touch the 50, then the amount of change comes up and the cash drawer will pop open. You now have item options for the itemized receipt. Choose no to go paperless, print, or text to the guest.